Hey coach, how's it going? My name is Coach Ben. I'm the founder here at Soccer Entrepreneur. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to escape your nine to five job or if you're coaching club soccer, high school soccer, whatever level soccer you're at, if you want to escape that and get into private training and start your own business, I'm gonna show you the exact amount of time that's required for you to do that on a daily basis to move closer to your dream of starting your own business. And I think it's very important that I show you this because there's several case studies of other trainers I've worked with who are married, they have kids, they have mortgages, they have real jobs, um, and they're sick of what they're doing and they want to transition their life into becoming a business owner and they want to start their own academy. And I know because I've worked with a lot of people like that, the exact amount of time that's needed in order to completely make that transition. So I want to make this as simple as possible for you. So it doesn't matter to me if you have a nine to five job or if you're coaching club 20 hours a week. I think if you honestly put between one hour and 90 minutes into yourself every week of learning and figuring out how this works over the course of three or six months, you should have all of the knowledge. You should have clients that you're working with. So that, that's not time where you're just learning. Like that's time we're actually doing where you know between I would say three and six months, you're spending an hour, hour and a half a day on yourself, learning, tweaking, figuring things out. Then by the end of that time, if you set a deadline, if you set a goal, you should have enough clients that you're working with where you can step away from what, whatever you're doing and into that fully. And here's what I'm talking about. Like, let's say your income goal, most trainers I talk to, their income goal is around 3,500, between 3,500 and $5,000 a month. Um, that could be if you're single, that could be if you're married. It doesn't matter. Um, and this is what some coaches are making in club soccer or in high school, like they're high school teachers. It does not matter what the scenario is. But if your income goal is, is between making 3,500 and 5,000 a month, I recommend once you get to the $3,500 level, like you completely go all in there and you scale your soccer business. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna see your time is going to be divided. If you're taking on more players to train, you're doing that plus your normal job, it's very hard to dedicate more time to training when you still have a normal job that you're working. And I've told this to hundreds of coaches out there. If you're doing club soccer, if you're you know, doing things that in high school soccer and you don't have enough time over here for actual training, for private training, for your own business, then if you're not fully committed over here, it's gonna be impossible to completely break away. So I'm not saying you need to quit right now and go do this over here, go do private training. But I, what I am saying is build your private training up to a certain point where you know you have confidence, the money's coming in recurring every month. This is how I teach trainers in my four week program, how to set that up, why that's important, why if you don't do that, you're gonna fail. Like you need to have that set up. And once you have, I would say between 3000 to 3500 coming in on a regular basis monthly, then you know you can scrap whatever it is you were doing and move fully into this. And that takes a lot of confidence. And in my head, a lot of, a lot of coaches ask me, well, is that risky? And my answer is no, because if you have your business structured the way I do, right, nothing's going to be risky for you. Like the only risk you're, you're gonna be taking is staying in your current job that you don't like, because you're never gonna be able to leave that until you fully commit yourself to something else that you do want. And my goal here at Soccer Entrepreneur, of course, is to show the business strategies, how to get everything set up. But it's a lot more than that. Like Mentally, you have to be confident. You have to know and be certain that you want to do this full time. And if you're not that type of person, then you're gonna probably stay over here and continue to have the idea about wanting to start your own business and you'll never pull the trigger. And my goal, like if you sat down with me and you came to one of our two day business retreats or you're in my mastermind, you will know like the mentality that you need. And this is what I teach coaches, the mentality you need is like, you have to be certain. You have to know this is what you want. You have to know that you want to be the best coach and trainer in your region. And you want to have the best training program set up for players. We're adding the most amount of value. And when you have that mindset, it's easy to make that transition from going from whatever your current job is to training full time. But like I said, you don't make that jump. You don't just quit and go do it unless you have the education, you know what you're doing, right? and you have clients who are actually paying you. You have to prove the concept to yourself before you just go and jump into it. 
I highly recommend you go check out my website. It's SoccerEntrepreneur.com. I have a bunch of resources there. I also have a way where you and I can chat over the phone. If you just go to SoccerEntrepreneur.com slash call, you and me, we're going to hop on the phone this week. I just have a short, easy application form there where you can fill out a couple of details about where you're at right now with your business, no matter if you're just starting or if you've been in business for years. I can go through that. We can carve out 10 to 15 minutes where we can chat over the phone to see how I can help you out. So that's it for today. I'll see you next time.